Hey guys, so I am coming to you live from this nature trail here at the getaway cabin. Um, I'm always coming to share a word, even if only one person receives it. I know that God gave it to me. And the word that dropped in my spirit was about transition. And it resonates so deeply with me because I am in a major transitional period in my life right now. And I would say it's one that I have never experienced. I don't know if that happens after you turn 30. I don't know. Just, I don't know. But um, um, transition is messy. And it's so crazy. Hold it's on. so crazy because as I begin to record this video, I came among a crossroad. So... Here's one trail and here's another. And a lot of times we get stuck right here. We get stuck, we keep looking to the left and to the right. It's like, oh my gosh, am I gonna make the right decision? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna keep going while I'm talking because I'm not about to get stuck. We have to realize that we can never truly miss God if we are attuned to him now I didn't say that we can't make mistakes I said that we can't miss God so no matter what path you go down as long as you are holding on to God you'll never miss him so it's important that no matter what path you take during your time and your season of transition that you cling to him and you understand that he will always place you where you need to be so back to what I was speaking about when it comes to transition um, transition is not always some beautiful thing transition is exactly what it is it's a transition and so with me I have accomplished a lot in my life and I find myself beating up on myself a lot because I think that I should be so much further or I think that I should have so much more to show, um, you know, for what I've been through and what I've experienced. The accolades, um, the accolades, the things that, you know, I've earned. But really, those things are finite. Those things are finite. Those things are fickle compared to what you gain internally through everything that you've been through. And a lot of times this world puts in our mind, you should have this amount of money. You know, you should have this amount of revenue. Um, you should have this amount of popularity and things like that. But none of that is sustaining. Only God is sustaining. Only the things that he grows in you, that he cultivates in you, that you allow him to build in you is sustaining because you can have money all day but that don't mean you're gonna make the wise decisions on how to spend that money you know you can have land all day and houses and cars but that don't mean you're gonna have someone to spend it with it's like we get so attached to these expendable things that we don't pay attention to the truth behind those things and the power that they really don't have the power that we give them so I feel as if God is truly just pushing me away and pulling me away from the things that I think make me. Um, and that's not an excuse to be unwise or to be frivolous or, you know, to just be like, oh, well, it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. No, you always tune your spiritual ear to God and you always try to hear what he is saying and what he's telling you to do. But what he does is he takes away your I want to say your stability what you define as stability the things you cling to the things that you depend on above him and there are people in this world who are very wise and have money but it's because they put their wisdom in their heart their connection to God above that money but then there are people who are not wise and have money and sometimes God may have to strip them of those things to show them that hey your trust needs to be in me so hopefully this makes sense to somebody so hopefully you hop on to this revelation. So when I was at the top at a crossroads, I ended up taking the right side. So I came down here and I ended up here. You can't see it's a stream down there. So I came back up and I decided to take the left, the, the left path, the path on the left. 
it brought me to the same location, y'all. It brought me to the same exact location. I saw different things down each path, down each trail, but it brought me to the exact same location.